creating right on the spot without thinking about it too much, which is, you know, the death of art is to think too much. You have to enjoy yourself in the moment. I would describe my painting style as uh, visualizing music. Um, live and in the studio. I listen to the music and go real time and interpret it. It has everything to do with the environment, the people, the uh, mood of the music, the, the genre. That dictates the colors and the speed. It really just keeps me present in painting. What I enjoy about the Dale Rowney FW inks is the versatility, the light fastness. Um, some are opaque, some are transparent. I can blend them, layer them, um, really you know, move around with them. I was shown them by a friend, and I've used the FW inks for about five years now. I really like the purple lake, the dark green, uh, more of the transparent, psychedelic colors, indigo, marine blue, the range of colors. Um, really, that's, that's what kept me with them because I can express almost any style of music or any color or any environment. They really work perfectly for what I do. Being a musician first and then becoming a painter, I combine the two styles and I think they have everything to do with each other. By using the inks live to music, I can, I can spread them around, I can blow them with the straw or blend them with the brush um, and really make them do what I want. How I use them is with the dropper and on the canvas. Um, I, I sort of use the canvas as a palette. The quality is superior to any ink I've ever used, and they last forever. The song I'm painting to today is Climax by Ellis Ashbrook. The song itself has a wide range of moods and colors, so that's why I chose it. It has some purples in there, some blues, some yellows, a little bit of red. You know, it really depends on the, the genre and how I feel that day or even what I ate. And, you know, so there's no, no worry or no rules when you're coming or approaching this, this music. So just kind of feel it out and see what comes to you. That's why I put the, the inks right in front of me. I have all the colors available to me and, and sort of feel out what I, you know, want to do. Everything's organized in the beginning. All the brushes are laid out, organized um, by size and how I want them. The, the canvas is flat. It's almost slightly medical or, you know, scientific. I, I lay everything out. I line up all the inks in the spectrum. Everything's perfect for setup. And then the chaos begins when the music starts. It could be really bassy music and really spread out and full color, and then classical music will bring in a full spectrum of color and sort of details in the musicianship kind of bring details in the painting. If it's light, bright, you know, things, I'll, I'll have finer details. If it's more wavy, lengthy music, it, it can be wider strokes or fan brushes. I'm kind of trying to connect the brushes and the colors with the instruments, the sounds, and the vibe of the room. The talent pool and the, you know, kind of friendship and brotherhood, sisterhood within the music community really allows for an open creation with a visual artist. I'd say, you know, if you're going to try abstract painting or, you know, interpretation or expression, however you want to label it, um, the, the key is to have no rules and no, sort of no judgment about the painting. It's going to be messy or it's going to be too much of this or too much of that, but that's fine, you know, and it's really honing in how, how often you want to 
you know, spread this color or how, how much you want to layer down. It's, it's, not, it's not of what, you know, it's, it's, it's more the process, it's more the fun, it's more the pouring out of that, that expression. Just keep painting and keep doing it and enjoy yourself and don't put any judgment into it. I always loved to paint when I was little, since I was six years old. And by painting now, you, you keep your inner child and sort of enjoy creation and really spread that to others. It's like a virus, but a good one. 